you talk about intrinsic and how it can happen, maybe it happens organically, I don't know, but does it need to start at the top? So do you have to have the figurehead in these kinds of sports or these kinds of companies be the female leader, or can it be that they've hired in a lot, you know, in the middle management level? The leader has the most power. So if it isn't somehow embraced at the top, I would expect that lots of times it grows organically from the bottom or the middle of the company. But if the leader doesn't put this top of his or her agenda, you're going to run into to ceilings, to brick walls. Here's another great example, transitioning from the Raiders who are doing phenomenal work and really are the first mover in the NFL space. Mm -hmm. Salesforce, Mark Benioff, the CEO of Salesforce, has really stood up not only to talk about why this is critical for Salesforce, they're doing a 10-year retro, retrospective looking at data on gender pay gap, on promotion rates that may or may not be different for women over men. He's now paid out mm -hmm. a couple of million of dollars to bring women up to par with men in their same position. Sometimes there was men who were lower. So he's going back and actually spending money on this. He's been very transparent about his data so as Salesforce, he's stepping up in a leadership role and talking about why this matters to him, why this matters to Salesforce, what kind of a company he wants to be running. Another thing that I'm very, uh, that I very much admire that Mark Benioff, the CEO of Salesforce, is doing is he's stepping up and saying, "Hey, other CEOs, where are you on this issue? Where's your leadership?" Does this matter to you? Because as a sector, tech is taking a hugely significant negative reputational hit for lack of diversity across the board and their corporate numbers.